This is a Bluetooth control huge 32x8 LED matrix. It's made with 256 10mm diameter green LEDs. It's controlled by an Arduino and 4 LED drivers, each driver for each 8x8 matrix. It can display text, shapes and create a scrolling effect of your text. Connect your smartphone to it, open the app, type your desired text and press send. So now let's see how to create this huge LED matrix. What's up my friends, welcome back. In order to build our awesome huge LED matrix, we will need a bunch of LEDs. I've used this 10mm diameter made green LEDs. Our matrix will have 8 rows and 32 columns that will give us a total of 256 LEDs. Before we start building it, I would like to explain a little bit how this type of matrices work. Any one color LED diode has two pins. One is called anode and is the positive one and usually is longer than the other one. The other one is called cathode and is the negative one. Just as any other diode, this component only allows current to flow in one direction, in this case from the positive side to the negative one. So let's say that this LED works with 5 volts. So if we connect the cathode to ground and apply 5 volts to the anode, the LED would shine. So what we will do is take a bunch of these LEDs and connect their cathodes in series creating 8 rows. We do the same for the anodes, but for each 8 columns, not for the entire 32 that the matrix has. Now we have all these negative pins of the LEDs connected, and the positive pins as well. These are 4 8x8 matrices. But later we will join them together using the LED drivers. Now let's say that we want to turn on this specific LED. Obviously we should connect ground to the row number 4 and 5 volts to column number 5. Easy right? But now let's say that we want to light up the A letter like this, since we want to display text. Let's start by looking at this vertical bar of the A letter. So we need to turn on 8 LEDs of this column. For that we should connect ground to these 8 rows and 5 volts only to this column. Till now everything is ok. Now let's look to the next column. In order to display the A character, we should turn on these two LEDs of this column. And here is our first problem. We have already connected ground to the rows 0 to 8 in the previous step, in order to turn on the previous column. So if now we connect 5 volts to this column, in order to turn on only these two LEDs, the entire column will turn on. But we want to turn on only two LEDs, so how we do that? Well, this is the solution. We power up only one row at a time, like this. But we do it fast enough that the human eye won't be able to see the switch. So now let's go back to the A letter. We first power up the 5 LEDs of the first row. In a fraction of second we turn off those 5 LEDs and turn on the next 2 of the second row. We do the same for all 8 rows and start again. Well, this doesn't look like the A letter doesn't it? Let's increase a little bit the switch speed. As you can see, when the speed gets high enough, our eyes can't tell the difference anymore and combine together all the rows creating the A ladder. Ok, so now we know how these LED matrices work. But now, if we want to switch each row and each column LED of each row, we should connect 32 wires to the columns and 8 wires to the rows. That is a huge amount of connections. Besides, I want to use an Arduino Nano to control the LED matrix, and Arduino Nano doesn't have that amount of digital pins. So, to reduce the connection and improve the circuit, we will use the Max7219 LED matrix driver. Each of these drivers can control an 8x8 LED matrix. All we need to do is connect the clock, load and data pin from the Arduino to it. In this way, we can send the data in a serial communication and the driver will create the parallel output of each of the 8 columns and 8 rows. Once we complete our 8x8 matrix, we could connect 4 of these in series, creating a huge 8x32 matrix. 
All we need to do is to connect the data pin out from the first driver to the second, the data pin from the second to the third and so on. In this way we could build a huge LED matrix using just one Arduino and three pins to send the data. Basically this is how any LED matrix work. Ok so let's build this thing. I've started by cutting two 19 by 25 cm 4 mm thick balsa wood sheet. This will be the front and back of my LED matrix case. I have also used two 19 cm long 1 cm thick piece of wood like this one. Also two 23 cm long for the sides. Using these four pieces of wood we will create the case. I will use this 1 cm diameter LEDs. I want to separate each LED 2.5 cm between each other. I make all the measurements and make sure that the LED matrix will be centered on the wood sheet. I mark the spot for each hole. Now using a 9 mm drill bit I will drill all the holes. I make the holes a little bit smaller so the LEDs will fit in tight. Drilling all the 256 holes takes quite some time. Actually was the longest part of the entire project. Ok so the main board is ready. Before I start placing the LEDs I want to create some sort of case and paint this board white so it reflect more light. I spray paint the board and let it dry. Now we can start placing the LEDs. This is also a very long time job. We have to place each LED in this position. We start from the left side of the board. Each LED will have the negative pin to the right and the positive one to the left. Once the LED is in place, we bend the positive pin towards the bottom of the board flat on the surface like this. Now we add the next 7 LEDs in the same way as the first one. Now we solder the entire column in series from the first positive pin of the first LED to the last LED of the bottom. We are done with the first column. We do the same for all of the 32 columns. Once finished we do the same for the rows, but this time we won't bend the negative pin flat on the wood surface. We have to leave about 1 cm between the pin and the board. Bend the negative pin of each LED to the right like this. Now using some solid wire solder them together in groups of 8 LEDs per row. Our LED matrix is done. We now have 4 8x8 matrices that create a 32x8 one. Finally I glue 4 pieces of foam and 2 small boards between the LEDs. This is where I place all the electronic parts. I leave the glue to dry and start the electronic part of this tutorial. To create our circuit I've used this schematic. You could download these schematics, codes and examples from a link below as always. So each Mac 7219 driver could control an 8x8 matrix. We start by soldering the first one. On a drill PCB I solder the Arduino Nano and the first Mac driver. I supply 5 volts and ground and connect the data, clock and load pins. I also solder a 10 microfarads capacitor and the 40k ohms resistor. Now I can connect all the wires to the first matrix, which is the left one. I first order all the negative pins. Be careful while following the schematic, there are a lot of connections. Now I solder the positive pins and the first matrix is ready. Using another drill PCB I solder the second driver. I supply clock and load pins from the Arduino. But the data pin isn't connecting to the Arduino like the previous one. The data in pin is the data out of the first driver. I do the same for the rest of the drivers and we are done. The matrix is alive. I upload an example code and test it out. Works perfect. To close the case I glue and nail in place the sides. Drill a hole for the USB cable and we are done. To supply the matrix I'll use a normal smartphone 5V charger. I pass the USB cable through the hole and fix it in place using a zip tie. Connect the USB to the Arduino and now I can close the case. I flip around the matrix and we are done. It looks so nice. So now let's take a look at the code. First of all you have to download the LED control library for the Arduino IDE. 
You could use the library manager of the Arduino to search it and install it, or you could download it from a link below. You will download a zip file. To install it, open the Arduino IDE. Go to Sketch, Include Library and add the .zip library. Here open the downloaded zip file and you are done. Now let's open the code. This is the code for our scrolling LED matrix. Download it and open it in Arduino IDE. Here we define our used pins. In the previous schematic I've used pin 10, 11 and 13 as the data, clock and load pins. In the NUM devices we add a 4 because we are using 4 8x8 matrices in series. To change the text to display just edit this string. Now we start the communication and the drivers. These are all the characters that we could print. So if you want to change one just edit these vectors. Finally at the bottom we send each vector for each character in the serial communication. Ok, upload the code and we are done. In the next video we will see how to control this matrix using a Bluetooth connection. For now our project is done. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one and also share your videos with your friends because that will help me a lot. Consider have my Patreon page for more awesome projects. Thanks again and see you later guys.